go. Reached 100% at 456. Interesting. 2163. All right. Today is the day. The whole house is getting plugged in to the Bluetti. There's going to be a couple of little bits to do here. Um, Turn off the solar. That's a recent addition to solar. Now we have a transfer switch here plugged in for the generator. So flick that down, it takes us off the grid. And then similar to sort of a caravan plug. Plug in this 15 amp, similar to the way I did the tiny house in the other video. Now I'm going to take this 15 amp plug into the house. That's a little night lighty rechargeable thing that shows me that we're actually off grid now. In fact, we are. So, modem's off, the computer, everything is off. Electric spaghetti. All right. <coughs> so once again, I've got the 15 amp plug because it's wired up for 15 amp, but we have to use this adapter to plug in the 15 amp cable cord. Bear with me. Sorry. Okay. 15 amp cable is plugged in because it's a 10 amp plug on this. So what we have here is off grid. I am now going to turn on the Blue Eddy and we are going to power the whole house from the EB200P. AC on. <laughs> That's the computer just made noises and we have Light Let there be light So we got an immediate draw which is probably the fridge Now this will be a bit raw and uncut, but I'm gonna walk around and turn some stuff on so we've got that craziness Excuse the mess. This is the modems gonna fire up there We have Big full-size fridge. We have big full-size fridges on. Um, and I'm just basically gonna turn some things on. This is pretty cool, running the whole house off the Blue Eddy. You know, computer here. I mean, I'm gonna turn, turn a few things on and just make it look like a normal, normal day. And, and I guess see how much we draw. Okay, so if this was a normal day, what I would be doing, doing a bit of work, got the computer going, we're at 3.45. Okay, I've got, I've got a little change of direction idea here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run around and plug in, oh, well, turn on lots of things around the house. And then I'll come back and get this operating so we can see what it draws. So at the moment we got 300 watts coming out, uh, which is we've got a modem, modem setup, um, a wireless. I've got an Eero running a mesh network. Got a computer with a monitor and the fridge, which I assume has given us about 300. Um, Turn on, you know, I'll run around, turn on some lights. That just popped to 312. It's sort of a normal chandelier, 3, 320 now. I'm just going to keep running around and turning stuff on and see what we pull. Uh, 
Uh, this is the heater, so I'll crank that up and get that going, turn on a few lights. Coffee machine. Ah, turn that on at the wall. Whoa, the blue eddy fans come on with that. The house heater came on as well. Fridge. I'm gonna turn on a whole bunch of lights. Turned on a heap of lights, coffee machine. Heat is running and that's probably what's pulling like 800 watts heater running. I wonder if I can do the toaster at the same time the heater is running. I heard the Blue Eddy fans kick on. Alright. That only pushed it up to 1700 with the Heater running and the toaster going. Coffee and toast, that's important. Modem, heater, toaster, computer, some lights. This thing's hard to beat. The fan's on pulling this much stuff. It's actually not hot though. It's just sort of warmish. Oh, toaster just finished. I'm gonna see if we can do a load of washing. I'll put it on like for an hour cycle, which runs way more. That's off. How much is that drawing? That's the washing machine on. <clears throat> Seriously? It's gotta be more than that. Or maybe it's cause it's just filling up. Right, that's going. I kind of want to see if I can trip this thing out. Like, obviously you're not going to be running everything. I'm Now the biggest draw is the jug. Let's go. Jug's on. I heard the Blue Eddy fans go. Oh, look out. We have an alert. Finally. That's 
with the jug. So it hasn't stopped. Fascinating. 22, near 2300 with the washing machine going as well. It's got some issues, so it's over, but it has not stopped. Now I reckon if we weren't running this jug at the same time as the washing machine and the heater and the lights and all of that stuff, I reckon it'd be fine. You know, that's fascinating though. It did not trip out. The alarm went off, but it didn't stop. Test with the microwave. So currently we've got microwave. I mean, the heater's not on, lights, fridge, washing machine running. Microwave. One hour later. That's it, the washing is done. To end off the afternoon, I'm gonna try and get this thing to trip out. Turn the coffee machine on and... What? What else? Coffee machine's gonna pull some power. What about, let's hit the jug. Yep. We got something going. And it tripped. There we go, finally. Uh, inverter overload. There we go. Oh, <laughs> it's still trying, and it trips out again. Cool, the jug, as we know, the jug is insane. Like pulls 2,000 some watts. I'm gonna now, just for laughs, turn on every light in the house. Cause lights don't pull a lot. All right, sunroom. I think the heat is gonna kick on. Let there be light. We got the fridge, we got the modem, all that kind of stuff. Every light in the house. Well, they, interesting. Okay, I reckon the heat lamp's pulling a bit there because we got all the rest, the modem and the um, thing. I'm just gonna turn the heat lamp off and see what that drops to because that's 1300 and it's gotta be maybe 500 watts or something in the heat lamp. That's heat lamp off. The fan's still going in the toilet. What have we got? Woo, interesting. Oh, it's 1100 because the heater is on. So the heat lamp wasn't pulling that much. It's time. It's time to shut down and switch back to grid. I mean, that's impressive. Like, I did a load of washing and um, did, yeah. I think it's, it's amazing how this thing can run so much. Okay, I'm very impressed with this thing. Um, switching our mindset over to what we're actually gonna use during a blackout situation. This thing is gonna run the house for days because we're gonna just use the minimum of lights. I mean, we can still have coffee, that's important. We'll have the modem going. Um, so really, like, it's pretty amazing. We, we can go days off grid, even with no sun to charge this thing up and it's gonna run the whole house. So that's very impressive.